In this low interest rate environment, it's extremely difficult to maintain the value in assets, let alone increase them. So Godfrey Matisse caught up with Hichem Soli, the Managing Director of Cross Asset Solutions at Society General, to get their views on how to make money in a low interest rate environment. Uh, the point is basically the, the rates, as you mentioned, are uh, at the lowest almost ever. And it becomes very hard for all the senior clients to generate yield on such an environment. So most of the central banks and like senior client, uh, in terms of regulation, they are obliged to invest in govies, U.S. treasuries, etc. Mm -hmm. And those one having like a uh, yield which is becoming like almost nil. Yeah, and when you get any inflation, yeah. in fact, you're getting real exactly. negative returns. Exactly. And even though that you start to go to further maturity, longer maturity, then you start to take much more risk because most of the market is scared that at some point the ECB or the, uh, the Fed will decide to increase the rate and they can have like a big uh, drawdown on their assets. Right. So the point uh, on our side within Société Générale is we did develop uh, some strategies in order to help such a kind of client to generate alpha through different asset class which is uh, ruled by the framework of such a client. Right, so let's talk about the how. How do you do it? What do you advise them? What do you tell them? Because I'd imagine, for instance, your clientele in Africa would probably be, you know, your central banks, right, like we said at the beginning, yeah. and then perhaps the sovereign, sovereign world funds. funds. There fund. are not too many of them, but those that are there, what do you tell them? And how do you do it? So basically what we tell them is uh, to create a kind of joint virtual or to work closely with the client on a bespoke basis uh, as a team and to try to open to them all the capacity that we have in within our investment bank right. and leveraging on our, our capabilities, capabilities be it engineering uh, within the, the team that they have. For instance, in Europe, we have uh, almost 35 people working on a daily basis to find some solution to clients, be it uh, central banks or insurance or pension scheme, etc. Yeah. So the point for us is to open this kind of uh, expertise to such a kind of uh, client, senior client, and help them through our product, our strategies, to generate some alpha. How right. we do it? Yeah. Uh, it can be, uh, first of all, just to mention those kind of clients that you are talking about. Those kind of clients are allowed only to invest on a very liquid uh, uh, asset, right. such as uh, your IBOR, etc., or UC, or um, or uh, U.S. Treasuries, etc. Right. So the point for us is. Under that framework, we do like some strategy which help us to be uh, long, short, or to try to uh, find the, the, the value that there is within embedded to those assets. Uh, I give you an example, for instance. Yeah. Uh, whenever the ECB or the Fed uh, decided, or every month they have like their meetings, mm -hmm. and they're gonna uh, decide for the target whether increase rate, decrease rate, etc., or to keep it. Uh, whenever they do such a thing, or let's say they decide to increase the rate, yeah. you see in the market like a movement on the term structure of the rate. Right. Okay. And uh, our team have done like analysis uh, over the time, and what we did find out is whenever such a thing happen, uh, you see that the market, in most of the case, is underestimating the level on which the rate Correct. is gonna uh, realize. So you have such uh, things that can be uh, evaluated right. and that we can catch. So our job is to try to find those kind of alpha, i.e. Uh, anomalies or underestimated from the market yeah. in order to, uh, to help the client to leverage on. So you're suggesting that when you are able to do that, those returns then are over and above inflation. You get real returns after inflation. Yeah, our goal, our, our aiming is to have like obviously a positive real, uh, return. You see what I mean? So the point is for us is to create a return uh, which is much higher than what they would expect yeah. by doing just longer term maturity on the U.S. Treasuries, for instance. Yeah. And as well to avoid them, because when you go to longer term on the U.S. Treasury, yeah. to avoid them to have to bear uh, the duration risk that they have embedded to the long term uh, U.S. Treasuries. So I would imagine if you are talking to an African client, you're saying to them, given this environment, perhaps you should be looking at uh, U.S. Treasuries, but the question is how you do it. What about uh, someone who's looking to invest into Africa? I mean, what would you tell them? Are there any asset classes within Africa that an investor with that kind of pool of money would be looking to perhaps uh, look into and invest, like perhaps South African bonds, like perhaps the Nigerian bonds? Obviously, government yes. Bonds? I mean, the point is, uh, to come back to basics, we need to diversify. So yeah. the point is, uh, obviously, through emerging market like Africa, we can find like some niche of bonds yeah. which are yielding much higher and which, which are more appealing than the usual she specs one, i.e. US Treasuries or yeah. ECB. Yeah. But this being said, uh, since those amounts that are managed by those central banks and sovereign wealth funds are quite big, yeah. we need to keep in mind that they need to be able 
to get their money back at any time, at any point of time. So you need liquidity. Yeah. So even though they decide to go for a certain niche on which they feel comfortable, you mentioned uh, Govis in, in South Africa, yeah. uh, they need as well to keep in mind that they, they need the liquidity of the assets.